Hey guys, Andy here from Tinker Crate, and I want to take a couple minutes to talk to you about how your spider knows when to drop. Now, as most of you have probably figured out, what you've created is a very simple motion sensing circuit. To figure out how this works, let's take a look inside our box at the individual components. Your circuit is made up of four components. A couple of them you probably already recognize. So you have a battery pack, here we have an on off switch, and then on the inside we have four AA batteries. Each AA battery holds 1.5 volts, so together we have 6 volts here. The other component you probably recognize is the motor. Now our other two components are a little bit more interesting. So this component is your actual motion sensor. There are a lot of different kinds of motion sensors out there, but yours is what's known as a PIR, or Passive Infrared Sensor. Almost everything gives off at least a little bit of infrared radiation, including you and me. We can't see infrared radiation, but you can feel it in the form of heat. Now, this plastic dome on the top isn't the actual sensor. To see the sensor, you need to remove the plastic dome. If you look inside, you should see a metal cylinder with a shiny little black rectangle in the center. That black rectangle, that's your sensor. If you replace the cap and take a look at the back, your sensor has three pins. Now we've attached a wire to each of these three pins. First, we have a black wire going to the negative terminal of our battery pack. Then we have a red wire going to the positive terminal on our battery pack. These two wires are what actually power our motion sensor. Now the third wire is the signal wire. So when your sensor senses someone moving, it actually shoots a signal down through the yellow wire to our other interesting component in the circuit. Now this piece is what's called a transistor, and it's basically a simple electronic switch. So again, we have three pins. One goes to the negative terminal of the battery, and the other goes to our motor, which then goes to the positive terminal of the battery. When your transistor gets a signal from your motion sensor, it connects the battery pack to your motor turning it on. And that's basically how your motion sensing spider drops when it does. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed learning about your motion sensing circuit. This type of circuit has a lot of interesting applications, so if you come up with something cool to do with it, we'd love to see what you've done on our Facebook page. Subscribe, check out our website, and I'll see you next time.